Ace Money the name, getting paid for the game. My goal is to help you get that money by sharing my picks as well as some useful knowledge and betting techniques. Now, while we go over this recap, I'd like to get right into these picks so we can get in and out like a BE with handicappers. So it's a SBR, Sportsbook Robbery. What's going on? I'm Ace Money, and this is Sportsbook Robbery. We got a Thursday night football. It's an NFC East matchup. McCarthy's Cowboys versus the Balls Giants. Both one and two. Cowboys dominated the Giants last year. Prescott, 12 straight wins versus the Giants. Giants, they lost eight straight in Thursday night games. It's a short week for both, so not much room for improvement. Got a couple key injuries on both sides. Giants lost their starting corner, Drew Phillips, to a calf injury. Then it's back up with Dor Jackson, out with a calf injury. Michael McFadden's questionable with a back injury, as well as the biggest one, Giants kicker, Graham Gano. Got injured during the Commanders game, which led to a loss. Played the whole game without kicking extra points. Giants did just sign Greg Joseph from the Lions practice squad. Cowboys got a few injured, a few questionable. Uh, biggest one, I think, is rookie rookie Carson, his shoulder. Uh, should be on the screen. Giants got destroyed last year. Uh, they're going to have to have a good start, take it one play at a time. Don't make any mistakes, early mistakes especially, because they don't want to play from behind. Giants QB, Big Danny Jones. He's big, he's mobile, he's athletic to me. He's like a grade D Josh Allen. He could run, he could throw a little bit, and he's mentally tough. He got hurt last year. He hurt his back, he came back, hurt his neck, and he was out for the year. Signing out. Giants got a new good receiver, a few of them. New running back, three new old linemen, right guard, right tackle, and a left guard. Thomas, the left tackle, I think he's in his second or third year. Uh, running back, Singletary, basically bounced around the last few years. I know him well from Buffalo, and then he went to Houston, and now he's with Big Blue. Uh, since Buffalo, he has learned to catch better, and he stepped up his game. Uh, he wasn't bad at Buffalo, but, you know, he just wasn't no James Cook. But uh, he's been running pretty hard, 197 yards so far, averaging 4.7 yards a carry. Here's yeah, something funny. That's more than the Cowboys' whole team put together rushing. Singletary's third in the league and making people miss. That's good. He's elusive. Uh, he, like I said, he can catch. He's fast. I mean, he's, he's quick. He's all right. Uh, shoot. So not only has he been getting better at catching and running and making people miss, but he's been picking up that blitz. Uh, he's been blocking and protecting that pocket, which is giving big old Danny Jones a little more time over there to hit these new ride receivers. Uh, backup running back for the Giants, Tyrone Tracy. Uh, he's showing some potential. They don't have no lines out for him. I couldn't find them, but once the game starts, if he gets in a play, they might drop some low lines for him. So look out for them. Uh, he's had eight straight. He's had eight carries to twenty-seven yards. He's caught three passes. He's a rookie. He started as a wide receiver in Iowa. He got transferred to Purdue and then became a running back. Uh, like I said, if they get lines to him, I'm gonna look out for them. Possibly a lot, but uh, Giants wide receiver number one, Malik Neighbors, heavily used third down, red zone, two-minute drill. Definitely a good back, and they showed that last game. Uh, he runs fast. He's hard hitting. He can also run that jet sweep. They also got Wendell Robinson. He's quick and fast. Got a lot of receptions. Uh, he can read that defense, and they run in that zone, and he settles down. He got about 20 receptions, 
but they're only averaging about 5.6 yards, so they're all short passes. Uh, tight ends, they haven't been involved in the passing game, but they have been playing well, blocking, setting the edge, stuff like that. Uh, Cowboys' run defense hasn't been good. So the Giants, they're probably going to run duo. That's basically when the O-line double teams the D-line. Each D-line member gets double teamed. That, that allows Singletary to run between the tackles, hit that A-gap, that B-gap. Uh, if they get success off that, then the Cowboys decide to load the box, meaning put a lot of people up at the front line. That's going to open up the play-action pass. And uh, the one-on-ones with Wondell and Robinson, Malik Neighbors, Slayton, they all going to eat if that happens. But uh, Dallas needs to buckle down and play some physical D. They need to be accountable. They allowed eight touchdowns and ten possessions in their home stadium this year. The Ravens rushed for 274 yards. Saints rushed for 190. If you can't stop the run, it opens up the play action. In every other part of the offense, then you can't stop anything. It's a short week. So there's not much time to fix these problems. Uh, Parsons, he was visibly upset, talking all types of shit to the media after the last game. He was putting the team down. So that could go either one way or the other. Guys could either be accountable and step it up. But honestly, they look defeated in the last two games. You can see their body language. Even the look in their eye, they visibly look bothered on the sidelines. I mean, nobody likes losing, but I think they're going to have to have that one play mentality. Take it one play at a time. It would really help them, I think, if they could cause a turnover, get an interception, shit, a fumble, a sack, a three and out. They would really start to build their confidence. They got a good team. They're just not playing right. Uh, if Prescott could get ahead, that would really help. You know, it would, it would make, uh, they've been playing from behind this whole time. So that's really been the problem too. Uh, Prescott can get two touchdowns ahead. Parsons in the defense, pitting their ears back. And Hunt Giants quarterback, Daniel Jones. And that'll allow Diggs in the secondary. Maybe some easy plays, some misplaced or rush throws from Jones and Maybe get a deflection, a pick, something. Show some type of sign of, uh, you know, positivity. Uh, the key to Cowboys stopping the run is their linebackers. I mean, they've been playing some some good open field tackles, but they haven't been filling the holes. They got to stuff them gaps. You know, the O line for the Giants open the gaps, double team, like I said, with the duo. Singletary tries to fill it. A gap, B gap is right or left. Try to fill it. The linebacker is supposed to run up and clog that hole. Uh, Singletary is not Derrick Henry. So maybe the Giants will have a better chance this week and actually stop the run. Uh, Saints running back, too, is a beast. So I'm putting Singletary definitely third in at all three of them. But he could be elusive, catch that pass. Catch him on the outside. So we'll see. But uh, speaking of running the ball, Dallas' offense has not been able to run the ball. 73 yards per game. Now, it could be, like I said, because they've been playing from behind most of the time and they've been trying to pass. But they haven't been able to score either. they got no balance, no identity. And it's crazy because Dallas got some good players. Think it could be from all that offseason hoopla. You know, they got C D Lamb, he's an A caliber receiver putting out C caliber work right now. He had a fumble in the red zone, had a penalty, a couple drop passes. I don't know. Maybe his hands are tired from counting money. Brandon Cooks, he only had four receptions for thirty five yards. Tight end Ferguson was the leading receiver last week. They're running back, Ezekiel Elliott. I don't even know if they trust him. 
They haven't had him run two running plays in a row. I don't know if it's that or the young old line. Uh, they do have good QB, good receivers. They're going to have to find a good mix of running and passing to go against the Giants' much improved defense. Uh, Giants got Shane Bowen. He's the new defensive coordinator. He ran some basic D last week versus the Browns, but then he started to mix it up, showing different blitzes, different fronts and stunts. Uh, Giants got some great edge rushes, Burns and Thibodeau. They got Lawrence in the middle, very big and strong. He's quick. He's already got three sacks. Uh, Giants got three good edge rushes and Lawrence in the middle. The rookie Chapman, uh, the safeties, he had a sack in his first week. They got uh, the rookie Tyler Newbin, Pinnock, Simmons. Pinnock had three sacks already. They did well on Justin Jefferson. They doubled him. They showed him different looks, so maybe they can do well on uh, CeeDee Lamb. But uh, I think CeeDee Lamb might have a good night. We'll see, though. I think the key to the game could come down to the kicking. And I trust the Cowboys kicker Aubrey more than that practice kicker from Detroit. And as far as winning or losing, it depends on which team decides to show up. Giants are coming off a positive game. They got decent talent on their home field. So if they put together and Dallas doesn't smack them cobwebs out and turn that frown upside down, I think Giants could pull it off. I believe it's going to be an over. And I lean towards Big Blue, 26-24. I got some player props. Let's get into them. It's kind of quick, so I gave a lot of data and other stuff. The video's getting long. Rico Dowdle. Dowdle. Uh, running back, receptions over two and a half. Plus 136, Vandal. For the year, he's went over these the last two games. Uh, five targets each game. First game, uh, last game, three receptions, four receptions, game before. I noticed that even uh, Elliott's not really, he didn't get many, many uh, carries or anything, so they might be leaning on this guy. And he would be the receiving back out to two. Uh, Giants are decent against uh, defending the running back receptions. The reason why I went with receptions to the yards, because a lot of times they'll do, do them little screens and they'll get stuffed at the line or only get a yard. So I uh, just decided to go with the receptions. Rushing yards over seven and a half, minus one thirteen. Fanduel got it at a few different numbers. Uh, find it on a few different books. So make sure you get the lowest one you can. Number has gone up and down a little bit. I'm crazy. I just figure if uh, Thibodeau and all those other people I was talking about, you know, crash that pocket, he might try to take off. Uh, Evade him, uh, catch a couple yards, seven and a half. He can do that on one attempt. Uh, he's averaging a few rushes per game, nothing crazy. Let's set five rushes so far. Average yard per rush. So, uh, just with that D line being so good and bringing in the corners, splits in, he might take. Excuse me, he might take off uh, seven and a half, just a little number. Let's get it, Prescott. CD Lamb, longest reception, 24 and a half. Minus 120, Fandor. All three games, he's gone over this. Uh, Got his number pretty high. It's like 70, 80 reception yards. 
So, uh, I mean, it's definitely a deep threat. Obviously, as you see, it's gone over it. Uh, I expect him to connect at least once. I think he's going to have a good game. I think it's going to be a good a good game back and forth. Uh, see what happens, though. But, uh, yeah, you can look out for his anytime touchdown, obviously. Before, uh, during the game, before the game, I'll drop in the community, yeah. Uh, Probably. I, I usually mix and match a couple uh people for touchdowns. Get a little parlays. Uh Ferguson, leading receiver last game. He's been doing pretty good. Receiving yards, forty one and a half. Number did go down as well. Minus one twenty. Uh Draft Kings. Ninety five last game. First game, he didn't do too well, uh, but he has exceeded 41 and a half, seven of his last nine games, averaging about 60. He's uh, second on targets on the team. Uh, I guess I'm a little, I was thinking about doing his longest reception as well. They got it like 15, 16. If I would have got early in the week, it probably would have been better. Uh, they got his receptions at four and a half. He had six receptions last game, 11 targets. Game before that, three, five targets. Last game averaging 16, 16 yards a target. Uh, per reception, I should say. Longest reception last game, 26. So uh, definitely possible, especially if they started trying to double uh, CD. I was going to go with Cooks, too. He's been having some off games. It's about time he has a good game, but I uh, got a decent amount of plays. I'm just just leave it off. All right. <clears throat> Mr. Devin Singletary. Spoke about him a lot today. Receiving yards over 15 and a half, minus 113. Uh, FanDuel, Jeff King got it at 130 right now. This line was at 17 and a half. It came down a little bit. Uh, 43 last game. Games before that, he didn't. We did cash in the first game, but it was a lower number. Uh, he's been getting a couple of targets, a couple of receptions. He's been catching pretty well. First game, five, five targets, four receptions. Second game, one and one. Third game, four and four. So he definitely stepped up his catching game. I remember when he was in Buffalo, he dropped he was dropping a couple. Dallas to the running backs, ranked 29th in receiving yards. So uh, hopefully he can hopefully them receivers take care of them DBs and uh he gets lucky and gets a couple yards. Let's get it. All right, last up, Mr. Wondell Robinson, receiving yards over 34 and a half. Number also went down a little bit, went back up. Uh, Jeff King's got it 115. Eight targets last game, seven receptions. For that, four, two. First game, 12 targets, six receptions. Succeeded 34 and a half, four of his last five games at home, averaging 57. Um, you know, he's the second receiver. He's got a couple of them. They'll be working both sides of the field. He'll be running them. Uh, I messed up earlier. I said he had 20 receptions. It was 20 targets. But uh, his receptions are all been – he's averaging like five, I think like six yards, five points on yards. So they've all been a lot shorter. But uh, he gets some yards after the catch and whatnot. Uh Check out his long receptions. So his long receptions, last three games. So a couple catches, hopefully a goal over it. Wondell Robinson. All right. Uh, if you could like the video, new viewers hit that subscribe button. Everyone turn on your notifications. 
So you get all my plays, my live bets, anything I'll be doing. Try to be as transparent as possible. If you could, leave a comment. Likes and comments help get the videos out there. As well as this gives me a little interaction with you guys and some feedback. And uh, just makes it worth it for me. Uh, I appreciate everybody. He's money the name, getting paid for the game. Let's go. <laughs>